Hi guys, uh, we're going to have a look at interior and exterior angles with you today. Uh, we're going to just consider these four regular shapes. So first thing, what is a regular shape? Okay, that's where we've got all the sides and angles are equal. Now we will um, look at these angles in more detail today and it will become more clear to you uh, when we say that the angles are equal. Okay, the sides obviously you can see on this hexagon that's in front of you, there are six sides and they're equal. Okay, but also you can see on the right hand side we'll put down the fact that an interior angle plus an exterior angle equals 180 degrees. So let me explain first what an interior and exterior angle is and let me show you why it's 180 degrees. Okay, so let's have a look at the interior angle first. So the interior angle is the easy one because the interior angle is the angle that's inside the shape there. Okay, so it has one there one there, there, and you can notice I'm drawing all the interior angles in. You'll also notice that we have six interior angles here, and that's because we have an hexagon, which is a six-sided shape, and it has six vertices. So there is an angle at each of the vertices. So the one that's inside is called the interior angle. Now, we also have an angle which we call the exterior angle, which is here. And what we've done is we've extended that line, the base here, so you can see that this line is a straight line, and that angle there on the outside is what we call an exterior angle. It also has six exterior angles. Notice what I've done here. So This is how you would draw them in. You extend each line, and then you can draw them in. And you can see again that it has six exterior angles as well. Okay, so that explains exterior and interior angles. Now, how do we know they add up to 180 degrees? Well, if you notice there, here, we'll use this particular bit here, um, there, if you notice that you have a straight line going across here, and these two, when added together, give you a semicircle. So therefore, you can say that an interior plus an exterior angle will always be 180 degrees. Okay, so moving on from that, if we have a look at a pentagon, notice again with the pentagon, this here would be your exterior angle. Okay, again, there's another exterior angle. Now, I haven't drawn all of them, but obviously there'll be another one here. If you were to extend that, there'd be one here, and so on. And our interior angles here are the so again, I'll just show you one or two of them, but you'll have them there, there, and there. So it will have five exterior angles and five interior angles. So that explains what interior and exterior angles are. However, the question arises, how do we work them out? How do we work out what an exterior and an interior angle for a particular shape is? We call it polygons, actually, for a polygon, a 2D shape of any sides. Okay, so we want to find out what is the exterior and interior angle. So let's see how we do that. Now, and before we can do that, we need to know a couple of facts. Now you could calculate this using some very complicated formulas, but I'm gonna keep it easy for you at the moment. Okay, so let's have a look at the hexagon again. And let's have a look at the angles that we had, which were our exterior angles. Okay, so I'll just get the green back again. So exterior angles that we had were that one, that one, that one, that one, one there, and finally that one. So notice we have six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, pretend we were here. Let's pretend we were standing here. There's our little cross, we're standing here. And we turned this angle. Okay, so we started from here. Actually, we could start from here. We could start from here, turn this angle first. 
might make it a bit easier. So we start here and we go from there to there. Okay, and then we turn this angle, which is effectively, if we look carefully, is from there to there. So that angle there and that angle there is the same. So we've started here and we've turned that angle. Now we're facing this way. Now after that, we look at this one. And this angle here is this bit here. So we now turn from there around, just like we're turning around here. And then we do this angle. And this angle here is the same as that one there. Then we turn this angle, same as that one. And finally we turn that angle, which is the same as that one. And notice what we've done. We've gone round in one big circle. Okay. And we know that the angles in a circle is 360 degrees. So using that, we can actually say all the exterior angles always, for every shape, always add up to 360. And that's a very important fact you need to remember. If you remember that, you can actually work out anything you need to. Okay, on exterior and interior angles. All right, so if we know that they always add up to 360, we can actually work out the exterior angle of any regular shape or any regular polygon by saying that whatever the shape is, we take 360 degrees and we divide by the number of sides. Okay, it's as simple as that. So I'll just reiterate that to work out the exterior angle we take 360 degrees because we know that's the total in a circle and we divide by the number of sides. Okay, so if we move on now and have a look at how that uh, would reflect in a hexagon. Okay, so if we're looking at a hexagon now, and we'll have a look at a pentagon in a minute, you can see at the bottom, the exterior angles in a hexagon will be 360 divided by six because it has six sides. So we know the exterior angle, which is this one here, is 60 degrees okay now using the fact we know that this is now on a straight line that plus that will be a semicircle we can say the interior angle will be 180 take away the exterior angle which gives us 120 okay so for a hexagon the exterior angle is 60 degrees and the interior angle is 120 degrees now let's apply this now to a pentagon Okay, so if we look at a pentagon, we know the pentagon now has five sides. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the 360 degrees and this time we're going to divide it by five, which tells us that the exterior angle here is 72. Okay, and again, using the fact that we know on a straight line it's 180 degrees, we know then that the interior angle would be 180 take away 72, which is 108 degrees. So that shows you how you can work out the exterior and the interior angles. Obviously, if you're given one of them, say that you're given this one, say you've been given 72 degrees already, don't calculate it. All you've got to do to work this out is take it away from 180. And similarly, if you were given this one as 108, Similarly, just take it away from 180 and it will give you the 72. Okay, if you're not given any of them, obviously use this method that I've shown you here. Okay, next bit. Okay, we've already talked about the fact that exterior angles always add up to 360 degrees. But do all the interior angles, are they always the same? The answer is no, they're not. Okay, they're not the same. Why, if you notice, this one is 108 for the pentagon. And when we did the hexagon, it was 120. So in this case, if we were looking at the sum of the interior angles, we would do 120 degrees but this time we would times it by six because he has six sides or six angles. It's actually because he's got six angles, six vertices. So you would get here 720 degrees. 
get and if you're doing this for the pentagon now here the sum of interior angles is equal to 108 but this time we're not times in by six but we're times in by five and that equals 540 degrees okay so hopefully that's enough information for you to be able to answer any particular questions that you need to uh, in your 11 plus at the moment thanks for watching Thank you.